In my previous tutorial, I have shown you how to create Google's free API key so that you can use Gemini LLM. Now in this tutorial, you will see how you can use Llama index to use Gemini. Let's import OS from get pass, import get pass. Now let's create an object, Google API underscore key and then get pass. Now I have to pass my API keys here. So I'll come here on this Google API key. I will copy this API key from here and then I'm going to paste it here and press enter. Now I'm going to set the environment variable for this Google API key object. I will write here OS dot environ and then inside this list I will just copy paste this one in single or double quotes and then I will assign it to itself that is Google API key. Now we have set the environment variable here with Google API key. We will call llama index and from that we will be using Gemini. I will write here from llama underscore index dot LLMs dot Gemini import Gemini and let us execute our code. This will create or this will import Gemini LLM. Now it has imported. Now it's very easy to create a prompt here. I will make one response variable. So we have to directly use this class Gemini and from this we can uh, call a lot of functions here. We will see complete function to complete uh, text. So I will make one variable response RESP and then I will call this Gemini class and from this I will call the method complete. And then inside this I will pass one sentence and or I will pass my question. I will write a question. Write a poem about a magic backpack. And let us execute our code. It should write a poem for us and save in this variable our ESP or response variable. Now let's print this response variable. I will write here print response and here in the output we can see that it has written a poem for us. The backpack of wonders. In a realm where dreams take flight, there's a backpack with powers bright. Its fabric shimmers a vibrant hue, a portal to reams both old and new. So you can see that it has written a complete nice poem for us. So we directly use this Gemini and from this we call this method complete. Now we can use Gemini LLMs. And so there are different LLM models, Gemini Pro, then we have Gemini Multi-Model. We will see how we can use Gemini Pro model. I will create an object LLM and then I will call this class Gemini. Inside this my parameter name is model and then I will pass model name. So the model name is models. We have to write models then a backslash and then model name that is Gemini Pro. So this is the model that we are using and I will execute the code and if I print this LLM object, let's see. So we have printed this LLM object and it will give us a lot of information about uh, this LLM. Now I am going to create a one more prompt. So this was the default LLM model that we have used here and here we have we are using Gemini Pro that we have defined. So I'll make a new prompt here. A response one 
and then LLM. So I will use this LLM model now. LLM dot complete, and then I will pass question. Write a short but joyous O to lava index. And then let us print our response one. And here in the output, you can see that it has written a nice poem for us. And you can read about it here. Oh, Lama Index, a treasure bright, a beacon of knowledge, a guiding light. Your vast expanse, a bounded sea, where wisdom flows for all to see and so on. So it has written a nice poem for us. This is how you can use Gemini using Lama Index. You have to create your environment key. Then from Lama Index dot LLMs, you have to call this Gemini class. And first you can use the default uh, LLM. And next you can try with different one. I have tried here Gemini Pro and you can try any other version. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.